Hello, welcome to the Age of Sculpts. Today, for this video, we're going to talk about hair cards and how to properly import the images that we create and procreate for hair cards. We're going to do this for a plane and also a tube. So, the first thing you want to do is create your hair card in Procreate. For this, all you will need is a simple line brush to create strokes going up and down your canvas. The most important thing is to make sure that your canvas is the same height and width as the plane or the tube that you will be using in Nomad Sculpt. Once you are satisfied with your hair card that you created in Procreate, we're gonna go ahead and transfer this over into Nomad Sculpt. You can go into Tools, go to Share and select PNG or a JPEG, either way, it doesn't really matter which one. Now in Nomad Sculpt, we're gonna start with the plane. So we're going to add a plane. And then as I said before, make sure the plane is the same size as the canvas that was in your Procreate app. We're just going to quickly rotate the plane to be the front view so that you can see what we're actually doing. Once that is done, we're going to use the points on the ends that you see the pink and purple points to resize the plane. And again, the same size as the canvas in Procreate. Another important thing to do is to go into your settings, go down to two sided, and we're going to uncheck that because we want both sides to be the same color. And if it's not unchecked, one side is going to be either the orange color that you saw there or any color that you have previously put into there now we're going to move on to importing the texture or the image that was created in procreate we're going to select material and go down to textures and select opacity import the image that we have this is what it should look like right now and then this is where the questions that i have about the actual texture and importing it goes as you can see here, I double clicked that little square next to opacity and it takes me to the settings of the texture. This is where you do not want to be when trying to resize or re-image or move your um, texture around on the plane because this will only repeat it. To stretch out your plane or your texture, simply use the dots that are on the plane. So you see the purple dots here and then you see the pink or the peachy pink dots those are the only things that you need to move on your plane in order to stretch out this hair card do not worry about going into the texture settings that will for sure repeat it not stretch it and there's two ways to do this you can use the little points already provided or you can use the gizmo tool to move it around now we're going to take a look at how to create a hair card with a tube tool. Selecting our tube tool, we're going to select path and then we're going to make a quick tube path and then we're going to press the green dot to activate the tube. The next thing we're going to do is adjust the radius. You don't have to do this, but if you want your curl to be thick at the beginning and then a little thin at the end, go ahead and adjust the tube. After that, we're going to go press the three dots and at the bottom, we're going to check spiral and we're going to spiral this tube. This is again up to you. After that, this is optional. You can go and select profile and actually adjust the profile of the actual tube. So it could look something like this. You can either leave it as a tube or do sort of like this boxy type of feeling. Again, go back to spiral and adjust anything that you like. And once that's done, you're going to go ahead and go to materials, select opacity, import our hair texture, and this is what it would look like in the end. I prefer to use the tube tool when it comes to creating hair cards because it allows you to manipulate the actual hair card. But using a plane is also pretty good, especially if you're doing straight hair. It's a lot easier and simpler to do. But these are two ways to create hair cards in Nomad Sculpt. Two things you must remember. One, when doing a hair card, import the image as an opacity for the texture. The other point that you would want to remember is when adjusting these planes, 
make sure that you are not going into the image settings. You are actually adjusting using the points on the plane or the gizmo tool. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, and also share and like. And I will see you next video. Bye. Thank you.